Lindsay? All right, Deja, thank you. 531 this morning. The baby formula shortage in the U.S. has more parents trying to figure out what to do and yep. turning to milk banks across the country. The executive director of the Human Milk Banking Association of North America says inquiries from parents wanting to fill the formula gap are up 20% in the last few days. The formula shortage was caused by a safety recall and supply chain issues. President Biden called on manufacturers to increase production. So here in Kansas City, the St. Luke's Heart of America Mother's Milk Bank says staffing issues forced them to permanently close that bank just earlier this year. Let's get to KSHP 41 News reporter Daniela Leone. She's live at St. Luke's this morning. So Daniela, nonprofit milk banks help uh, most vulnerable babies. Are Casey families getting the milk they need right now? Yes, Lindsay and Taylor, good morning. St. Luke's really wanted me to emphasize to you guys, despite this closure, the needs of families who do rely on breast milk are being met thanks to different milk banks across several states like Oklahoma and Colorado, just to name a few. Now, staffing challenges were behind that difficult decision to close their milk bank, and they gave me the following statement that I want to share with you guys this morning. Take a look at your screen. They told me, like many areas of our health care, the pandemic created a critical gap of qualified potential employees. Staffing of the milk bank required in individuals with highly specialized training and expertise to help ensure the rigorous quality and safety standards were met. Now, this shortage and the availability, availability that is, of other human milk banking association, North America Milk Banks, led to the decision to close. Now, I spoke with the executive director of the Oklahoma Milk Bank, who is currently helping Kansas City families get the milk they need. She told me our region's milk bank closure was unique because that's never happened before within the Human Milk Banking Association of North America. She says demand is being met, but the the ongoing formula shortage is causing her and her team to work around the clock. Take a listen. I would say one of the challenges, um, especially with our current um, uh, formula shortage uh, and formula crisis, is with babies in the community that may have a medical need um, for donor milk. So certainly the demand has been skyrocketing um, for donor milk, and, um, we, and so we need more donors. Um, so that we can continue to meet that need. And as we, uh, as we expand to serve, you know, you know, hospitals in the Kansas City area, Kansas, Missouri, um, then, um, you know, we need more donors from those areas as, as well. Now, Dr. Lauren Hughes with Bloom Pediatrics and Lactation in Roland Park, Kansas, heard about the closure of our milk bank, so she decided to start her own, and here's a look at her office. Now, it's not affiliated with the Human Milk Banking Association of North America, but Dr. Hughes is a lactation consultant and screens mothers who want to donate milk and conducts several lab tests to ensure the milk is safe to use. The bank is open to anyone, but she does prioritize infants under three months and babies with compromised immune systems. It is a, you can feel more comfortable that what you're getting is, is safe breast milk and does not have anything dangerous, but it is available to anyone in the community. And milk at Bloom Pediatrics can be purchased for $1.50 an ounce. Dr. Hughes told me that it's not even been a couple of weeks since she opened up her own milk bank and already get that she's collected more than 250 ounces. Reporting in Kansas City, Missouri, Danielle Leone, Case HB 41 News. Man, what a difficult time for our families trying to feed their kids. Scary. Danielle, with this closure of the St. Luke's Milk Bank, where can mothers go who want to donate? Well, the association told me that they're actively working with KU Health Systems to provide different depot sites where mothers can go and donate their milk here in Kansas City. But for right now, here's a list of their official sites. On the Missouri side, you have the Andrew County Health Department in Savannah, Missouri. And on the Kansas side, there's the Flint Hills Mother's Milk Depot in Manhattan. Again, those sites are for nonprofit milk banks. You can also go to Bloom Pediatrics in Roland Park, where you will get screened and have the appropriate lab tests taken to ensure, again, that milk is safe. Lindsay and Taylor. All right, Daniela, thank you very much. So the Department of Health and Human Services has a new website to help parents with baby formula issues. That site includes an emergency product request you and your pediatrician can submit to formula makers. You can find the link under the web links section of KSHB.com. I'm thinking of the, the hungry cry. You and I are both oh. parents. You know you oh. know when, when baby is hungry and what that cry sounds like and how many parents are having to listen to that too much right now. We know, moms and dads, how hard this must be.